Hi, my name is Colleen Shaw, I'm the founder of Beyond Philosophy and today we're continuing our series of interviews with Steve Elliott, the CEO of Morgan Sindel Fit Out. So Steve, um, if you can just take a step back, there are a lot of people that are going to be asking themselves, you know, how you went about making that decision. Can you tell us a bit about that please? It, w it was part and part actually. Uh, um the biggest thing was it, for us is it was a leap of faith, a real leap of faith of do we want to continue doing what's a reasonable job and carry on uh, being where we want to be in, our, in the market positioning and the size of the company that we were. And clearly the answer for us was absolutely not. We wanted to be the best and we wanted to be the no in any sector we're in, we want to be the number one in that sector. So it, it, was, it was a leap of faith. We could talk to staff about the projects which we recorded for our customer satisfaction questionnaires that went wrong and how much we believe uh, it cost us to put those jobs right, the physical cost of those putting those jobs right, never mind the fact that that client would never come back to you again right. uh, or you would find you would struggle to win a project again from that uh, client. And we totted that up and you know, in, uh, we held uh, one day seminars with every single member of staff uh, to launch Perfect Delivery after the conference to explain what we're going to do, how they can help us, what they believe the blockers were and what would make it successful. And at that I introduced every single seminar and I closed every seminar. And we, the staff uh, were incredibly sceptical about how it's going to go. We told them it was a five year plan, um, sorry a seven year plan and that we would guarantee perfect delivery to all our clients and that was the uniqueness of this and a lot of the people from the finance and the commercial side said well what do you mean by guarantee and we said to them well we will give back some of our fee if we don't achieve perfect delivery on that project so right. that really shocked the staff to say feel that well they, they won't you know no one will sign perfect delivery or agree perfect delivery because they can get some money back and we said well no people who get a great job done for them who have you know, have got a perfect job, then we'll be absolutely delighted. And not only will we get more work, uh, they will be willing to pay more for the service that they get in the longer term. And that was a leap of faith. Right. Um, so we galvanised the staff through saying, this is going to be led by myself, and I'm going to put half my life into doing this. So it, I, going back to your original question, it was half and half. It was a leap of faith. We had some statistics, but we didn't know what the real game would be, because no one has done this route map before. So, sure. but it felt right and uh, by and large the staff uh, sort of very sceptical but believed it would be great to work for an organisation like that. In fact from those first seminars that we did with our staff we got 607 uh, ideas, most of them polite, about how we could improve the business and right. use perfect delivery as a galvaniser. And so to give you an example what that meant is um, in our industry we use a lot of suppliers and uh, uh, business partners, supply, uh, subcontractors, etc. And uh, particularly our site based staff, which is the vast majority of our organisation um, project managers, construction managers, and mechanical consultants, etc. felt that uh, if we could be the best in the industry in paying, we weren't bad, but if we could be the best in the industry of paying, then it would galvanise uh, the supply chain to working with us with this. Can you tell us a bit more about paying the supply chain? We went to our board, uh, to our main board, and said to them, look, uh, we would like to remove a quarter of a million pounds a year from our budget in interest earned by uh, when we're paid and the, there's a slight delay uh, until we pay our supply chain and pay them even before we're paid. So that we become the number one place that those suppliers want to work, people that they want to work with, and they will want to help us to do this. Um, that was one of the 607 ideas we got. We went to our main board, they supported us, we reduced our budget by a quarter of a million pounds and we guaranteed payment from application within 28 days. Excellent. Whether we've been paid or not by the client. Um, and we were still to this day, 10 years later, working through that 607 list. We dismissed the ideas which were a bit rude, uh, <laughs> but it, it, re it really stopped the staff in their tracks and they believe these guys are really serious about this. Um, I counselled for two years half of my week and half of my week was going around the businesses for two, over two years, um, visiting sites, talking about the cornerstones, uh, galvanised action, looking for what they're doing on that site. Could they even remember what the cornerstones were, what we're trying to achieve, sure. um, how they were planning those into their programmes. Sure. 
And another example of that was that um, they felt that you know, they would need to be someone to coordinate the day-to-day -day activity, the detail of uh, the plan over not just uh, the five years, but the, the, you know, every week, every, every month. Sure. So we said, that, that's, that's correct, that's, that's a great thing to do. Um, so we, we went out and we budgeted again for a, a perfect delivery manager, um, which we brought in immediately to help us uh, internally to, to assist me in actually running it, so that we had a team of two running this. And slowly uh, we started putting uh, markers in the ground, we picked some easy wins on easy jobs uh, where we could get perfect delivery because the majority, to get perfect delivery you had to hit all four cornerstones, not three or two or one, but all four of them on every job um, to get PD. So uh, we, what we did is we, took, we picked a few easy wins because of the scepticism is that we will never be able to do this. We, you know, every site manager said it's going to be impossible to get perfect delivery. So we picked uh, one job in each of the teams what we have and uh, when they got perfect delivery and they had the form signed by the clients, signed by all the consultants, not us judging it, but our clients and the consultants are judging it, then uh, they, it would prove that it was possible. Now clearly when you've done it in one job, all the other site managers and project managers see that and you go, oh well of course it, he had an easier job than me. But it does start the, uh, the barrel rolling down the hill and that's what it did sure. do. And in our first year of perfect delivery, uh, we achieved 24% PD. So in fact we were already some there was some great practice within the organization and we were already doing it but didn't even know that we were doing it in some cases and that was the end of the first year last year some 10 years later we're now at 93 percent and if you talk to our staff now it's part of the dna of the company it's just the way we do business you know, we, we we perfectly do a project it, it's you know people who do that it has changed our industry too there's a lot of um and i suppose it's a compliment there's a lot of people out there with their own form of perfect delivery um, in different ways, but uh, as our clients say to us a lot of times, and the consultants say to us, is we know that you mean it and we know you deliver it. Sure. It's not a marketing tool, it's an, a it's an action. So it, it's, it's all about the product, it's getting the product right, it's getting all the great practice into place, um, it's nailing those uh, thoughts that I can do this, because very much uh, it's the saying of you know, if you believe you can, you can, and if you believe you can't, you can't. So the people who didn't think it was possible didn't. But they very soon saw them um, being left behind, and they sort of the, the galvanisation the galvanization of the site staff, particularly, was quite fantastic. It even took probably, in some cases, two to three years to get even every director of every division on board right. to do it as part of their own, own process sure. and day. Thanks very much, Steve. There are more videos on this subject on our website, so please take some time and check them out.